السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أستاذ عبد الرحمن حسن and أستاذ أبو تيمية and my beloved brother Imran bin Mansour my name is Ibrahim I live in New York you guys don't know me but Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen I know you and I, I want to record a very short video I don't know how to get in contact with you people because you're very busy I understand so I want to make this like one or two minute video expressing my love for you people um, Subhanallah, I, I love all three of you for the sake of Allah immensely. May Allah Azza wa Jal keep you on the haqq. May Allah Azza wa Jal make you a source of benefit for me and guide me to the truth and keep me on the truth. Uh, Allahumma ameen. I don't know what to say. I wish I get to hug Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan and all both of you, especially Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan because I've watched more things from him. Um, and give him a good hug one day and meet him and just spend some time with him as for me i'm 20 years old very low in ilm i don't know too much uh, but alhamdulillah i do benefit and I, I hope you get to watch this video if there's any way i can contact you guys somehow someday when you sometime when you might get free i would love it if you get back to me khair assalamu alaikum again inna alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد as you've all watched our brother إبراهيم حفظه الله ما الله تبارك وتعالى protect him he sent that emotional video that really touched me and wallahi I don't forget that day when it was sent to me I was reading the kitab Zadul Mi'ad Fi Hadi Khayr Al Ibad by Imam Ibn Al Qayyim Al Jawziya Rahimahullah and so I paused for a little bit and was really touched by the message in which our brother had sent to us and so inshallah ta'ala to give the brother a response to that video of his, which is a right that he has on me and much more, is to say, may the one whose sake you love me for, love you in return. And also I wanted to say to my brother Ibrahim, if we live in this world and we are alive, we shall see each other inshallah ta'ala. And if we don't see each other in this world, then let's work hard so we meet each other with our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions and that we drink from his hand alayhi salatu wa salam sharbatan haniatan la nadma'u ba'daha abada we drink from him his palm alayhi salatu wa salam and we don't ever become thirsty from that day onwards also my brothers and sisters who are watching this is an obligation upon Muslims wherever they are in the world that we love one another for the sake of Allah and that our love is purely based on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake. We love a person based on their obedience and their adherence to the kitab and the sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us that we're brothers in religion and in faith. He says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً Verily the believers are brothers to one another. This ayah came right after the ayah of speaking about two parties of the Muslims fighting one another. Allah is talking about وَإِن طَائِفَتَانِ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ قَتَتَلُوا فَأَصْلِحُ بَيْنَهُمَا فَإِن بَغَتْ إِحْدَاهُمَا عَلَى الْأُخْرَى فَقَاتِلُوا الَّتِي تَبْغِي حَتَّى تَفِيئَ إِلَى أَمْرِ اللَّهِ Allah is telling us here that there are two parties of the believers that are fighting one another. But one is transgressing on the other. Even though that that's what's taking place, there is oppression from one group of believers to another, Allah still reminds us in the verses to come, or the verse to come, that remember you're still brothers. You are still brothers. Like fighting one another and killing one another does not get rid of, does not get rid of the brotherhood. Allah doesn't only do that in that surah, Surah Al-Hujurat. He also did the same in Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum al-qisasu fil qatla, al-hurru bil-hurri wal-abdu bil-abdi, wal-untha bil-untha, faman ufiya lahu min akhihi shay. That a brother, kills a family member of yours. 
And that brother who killed your family member, you have the rights to, he's done it deliberately and he chose to do it. What you do is, you have the rights to request for him to be killed. It's the haq of the family who have lost their loved one, who was killed by their other brother or another Muslim brother of theirs, they have the rights to request for his blood. But even then Allah says, if you forgive your brother. He's killed a family member of yours. He's caused harm to the family. But Allah is still reminding you, if only you forgive your brother. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه That a person is not a true believer until they love for their brother that which they love for themselves. Ukhuwatul Iman, the brotherhood of Islam and Iman, the brotherhood of a taqwa is that which is needed. And it's the only one that's going to remain. Because Allah tells us in the Quran that every brotherhood is going to perish. Except the brotherhood that is based upon taqwa. Allah says, That the brothers are enemies to one another the day of judgment. Allah reminds us, except who? Illa al-muttaqoon. Except those who are pious. Except those who have taqwa. The people of taqwa are going to remain with, the, within the, with, with one another as brothers. Whereas the rest of the people are going to run away from one another. Your true brother and your true sister is going to run away from you. يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِي وَصَاحِبَتِي وَبَنِي لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مِّنْهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ شَأْنُ يُغْنِيهِ Everyone's going to run away from everyone else. But your true brother is the one who has, who has truly become brothers with you or has become a sister of yours purely based upon the kitab and the sunnah and this religion. And I ask Allah wa ta'ala that he makes us from those people who fulfill the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ in which he said, مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَادِهِمْ وَتَرَاحُمِهِمْ وَتَعَاطُفِهِمْ كَمَثَلِ جَسَدٍ وَاحِدٍ إِذَا اشْتَكَى مِنْهُ عُضُونَ تَدَاعَ سَائِرَ الْجَسَدِ بِالسَّهْرِ وَالْحُمَّةِ Or the hadith of المؤمن للمؤمن كالبنيان يشد بعضه بعضا فشبك النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بين أصابعه That the believers are to one another in their compassion, in their love towards one another they are like one body if one part of your body is hurting you then the other part of the body doesn't go to sleep, it stays awake. And wherever the Muslims are suffering in the world, a Muslim suffers with them. He feels the pain with his Muslim brothers, wherever they are in the world. Ibrahim is not the only brother who expresses his love towards me and towards my brother Imran and other brothers. There are many more who send us very good emails. I'm a person generally who doesn't like to always come into contact with that. Because it reminds me of the statement of Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah, which he said, uh, Uhibbu, I love that the people learn from me. I love the people to take knowledge from me. But there's nothing attributed to me. I would love if the people can learn this religion and they could take and I could, inshallah, get the reward of benefiting the people, but nothing is attributed to me. Because the reality is, we are nothing but people who are translating, who are explaining that which the scholars have done. We're not really anything much. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon the person who realizes his, his position. He knows his qadr, his level. And he stops at his level. He doesn't exceed it. And praises like this and appreciation like this, I ask Allah, he doesn't make it a cause that tampers with our intentions. But rather it makes us to realize that لو علم الناس if the people were to know قُبْحَ سَرِيرَتِي لَأَبَ السَّلَامَ عَلَيْهِ مَنْ يَلْقَانِي That if the people were to really know the secrets and the, uh, what I am behind closed doors, if they were truly to know that, then they would have refused to give me salams. And they would want to turn away from me and not spend a minute with me. And the closest family members, your wife and your children and your parents are the ones who really know you. I hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not expose us in this world and that He forgives us for the things that we have done and that he doesn't show it to the society. Akhuna Ibrahim, I ask Allah wa ta'ala that he lengthens your life upon obedience and that Allah wa ta'ala allows us to meet one another in this world before the hereafter. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, inshallah, I won't say much. I just wanted to echo on what Ustad Abdul Rahman mentioned uh, by bringing to everyone's attention a uh, narration that came from Abu Ayyub al-Saqtiyani May Allah have mercy on him Who was an imam from the Salaf al-Salihin He mentioned that if you hear 
of a brother of yours or a man of yours who is a man upon the sunnah from a distant land, then convey and send salam to him. Um, and this is from the characteristics of the people of the sunnah. Um, and uh, that's one of the reasons that I wanted to also partake in this video and send salam to our brother Ibrahim, who is over in the United States. There is an ocean between us, but you are a brother upon the sunnah. And for that reason, salam from myself and also brother Abu Taymiyyah who couldn't be here today because he's in a different city, but also from him uh, as well to you, inshallah ta'ala. And um, the rest of our brothers and sisters who are upon the sunnah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to all of you also. And just to also echo what Ustad Abdurrahman mentioned, if we don't meet in this world, then inshallah ta'ala, we'll meet on the day of judgment under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because from the seven people, seven categories of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shade under his throne when the sun is above our heads and the people are drowning in their sweat due to their sins. Um, the people that will be saved and be under that shade are those who truly loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, sorry, truly loved each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to be from those insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.